Hi everybody. Once again, as promised, I am going to install the second uh, proximity sensing switch that we installed here before on the wall. And I will put the video up here so you can watch it if you have not seen that yet. At that time of the video, I had purchased two of these switches and I selected one for this small room. Now I'm ready to install the second one in a larger room. I wanted to show you uh, what I picked up first as a little test kit. And this is very useful for finding um, electronic circuits in your uh, fuse panel box that uh, might save you a lot of time. This digital detective has a transmitter that can be plugged into the socket in question. And I also included in my kit this little adapter for light bulb sockets. So I could screw this in the light bulb socket and then, and then plug the detector into that. But anyway, you take, once you, um, plug this into the wall like let's say I wanted to check this this circuit here unplug that and then plug this in and, and it turns on I am going to take the second part of my detector over to my fuse panel and locate that circuit Okay, the way that we use the receiver part of our um, digital circuit detective here is uh, we first just turn it on here and you can see there's a light and a little beep and sound. And you want to stay away from the mains. Um, just stay on the individual breakers and you can see where it lights up. There's something there. And you just continue scanning and like I said, stay away from the mains because the mains will light up too. And if you notice, I found three different spots that are suspect. But if you scan once, and then I find that you just scan twice, usually on the third time, it will point out the circuit to you. There's something there. So I think the way that it works, it's actually a process of elimination. It finds a signal and then it reports it and then it keeps doing that until it finds the strongest one. You notice every time I'm going around here, it um, beeps less. Now that is the correct circuit that it's on right now. I know that for a fact because I wrote it right there on the panel. But uh, now you notice that all the rest of these are silent. So, um, that is the way that we locate the circuit. And if I went up to these mains, I'll show you why you should stay away from the mains. The mains also report as a signal. So that's the second part of this. This one actually has a spacer behind it. So, <clears throat> looks like the, the uh, box was inset too much. Maybe from an old install and so they just added the spacers. The funny thing about it is there's not one on the bottom. So, oh yes there is, it just fell out, there it is. Kind of an old school switch, heavy duty. Not gonna hate to see it go though. On this switch here, there is actually two grounds. There's one that comes out of the actual housing here, and then there's another one that comes off the actual screw 
um, kind of like a little touch plate even though the cover is going to touch that so uh, I just screwed them together Now I just have to put those spacers back on there. I'm going to use new screws though. This is the plate I had to purchase. This is their screw bag. How many screws you see in this bag? How many screw holes do you see? Yup. Now I gotta find a screw. Brrr. Okay, well I, I got it on there, uh, no help from the wall switch company that shorted me one screw, so I've got a black one down there. Let's uh, turn the fuse box on and uh, see how this new switch works. Okay, we've been sitting out in this room because I've been waiting for the lights to go off, and they finally did, and so I'm going to go ahead and enter the room and... Uh, See how far along here I can go before it, it uh, comes on. Okay, there it goes. So that's just about right. Um, it came on as soon as I, I came around this corner right here. So that's really good. Here's what the installed switch looks like. I've got that one black screw down there because, well, you've seen what happened with that. Anyway, um, that installation went pretty easy. I've got the other switch in now, and uh, we'll see how we like it over time. Incidentally, uh, the switch that I put in this other room, I'm going and there it goes. Um, I like it very well. It's gone off a couple times when I've been in here, but I've I've not made a lot of motion. I've got it set for one minute, but it didn't bother me at all. And uh, I just waved my hand and it came right back on. So um, thanks for watching these videos. Uh, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe so that every time we do a new video, you will be notified by email and uh, not miss a single one. So thanks for watching. Have yourself a good one. Take care. Hey guys, this is Steve. Thanks for watching. Hey, don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and be sure to rate and comment. See ya.